Hello, welcome to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I take another first look, this time at Age of Fear 3, The Legend. It releases on September 1st, 2017, so in just a few days, guys and gals, you can grab it for yourselves and play it. I'm pretty certain I will be starting up my own full Let's Play of the game once it does come out. And the reason for that is I haven't actually got my hands on this yet. I haven't played it. I don't know what's coming. But I've been very intrigued about this series for a very long time. I remember finding Age of Fear, the original one. I was like, ooh, that looks like it could be really good, but uh, I'm not sure. And then Age of Fear 2, and it released its gold version. I'm like, man, it really looks good, but it it's different from what I'm used to. I don't know. So I've been very intrigued, very interested in this series. I got a chance for this to come my way. I leapt all over it. I'm ready. I'm here now. We're going to play it. So I'm going to stop talking or rambling in the beginning. We're going to hop in and start a new campaign. All right, so we have the nature of the monster, and we also have the legend of Girok. Oh, and it gives you a little bit of a... Okay, cool. Dryad Nairi and her monstrous partner have a revenge to exact on a mysterious mage. Will their combined forces suffice? I sort of wish that the, uh, the UI was just a little bit bigger, scaled a little bit larger, so it's slightly easier to read for schlebs like me. It's fine. And then on the legend of Gilrock, Dwarf Gilrock has, has to reach his brother Fortress. Many dangers and adventures await. You think you too tall for a dwarven axe, do ya? Maybe. Uh, we'll go with the... Hmm. Let's check this one first. And then when we start the Let's Play, we'll start on this one. I, I guess that's how I'm going to do it. That way it's not just rehashing the same thing. See? There's there's a solution to my, my problem here. It's like the difficulty level, novice, experienced master, and death seeker. Oh, it gives you more info. All players will employ only basic tactics and skills. Nah. The default difficulty suggests for all player will enjoy the game without any advantages or handicaps here. Discounts when recruiting units and can recruit any number of units. Uh, master AI player will have better units, thus the player cannot rely on an individual advantage anymore. Teamwork and sound strategy are essential. And your units will receive more experience and you'll be able to develop them further during the campaign. That's interesting. And uh, the Death Seeker. AI will have an unfair advantage and use all tricks and tactics. Player units will receive permanent wounds, decreasing their abilities. Uh, can only be selected upon start of a new campaign, and once lowered, it can't be undone. And saving game during battles is disabled. Well, I'm going to go with the default experience anyway. That's generally how I like to play the game for the first time. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. I I'm sorry, I know the intros are always a little bit rambly on first look videos and stuff when I have something to say. But think of it this way. When we hop into the actual full Let's Play of the game in just a few days, as I said... I plan to just hop right in, get started, and knock all this stuff out, because we already did all this stuff in this episode, or this video, as it were. Sit down, my wee lads. Let me tell you the story of the time me and your crazy uncle went on an adventure with with the great Gilrock. What a character he was. Not the brightest of men, nor the friendliest. I don't know. It's fine. But his heart were in the right place. He was absolutely hell-bent on beating the living daylights out of any evil thing he stumbled upon. So, anyway, there we were, with a few stouts down us, okay, and your uncle completely hammered, and we ended up in the sewer of all places, a disgusting place where you'd walk knee-deep in crap, and every now and then more crap would drop from the ceiling. It wasn't a pleasant place. I don't suppose you lads have ever ventured down into the underbelly of the city. Well, I hope you ain't. The city's crap doesn't get washed into a river no more. It gets collected in the old tunnels at the bottom of the mountain where our forefathers first started carving the city into the mountain. Welcome to Age of Fear 3, The Legend. The next few levels teach the basic story of the game and introduce our... Or the basics of the game and introduce our story. All right. Uh, we'll play the introduction, because why not? Cool, we have a map. I like maps, and I guess this is where we go. Click to fight battle. Oh, that was weird. Okay, here we are. The that way. Uh, oh, my head. Ah, shut your mouth. Oh, that bastard. He. <laughs> what? Don't give us that rubbish. It's your fault. We're down here to begin with. Uh-huh. 
Ah, short. All right, en enough of my horrible dwarven accent. Okay, one of our enemies, sorry, one of your enemies carries an item or artifact. Or it's actually not an artifact, it's an atrifact. So, typo, I guess. It's fine. Items are indicated by backpack icon above the enemy unit. Items can be stolen if any of your unit has steel skill and later used or sold. Stolen potions can be used immediately. So backpack icon. Is there a way to adjust the... Oh, that's not... Nope, sorry. I, I wonder if there's a way to adjust the size of the battlefield. I, well, I imagine there is. Alright. Is, is there going to... Oh no! No, can I undo? Oh, I can. So, is there gonna be like tips and hints and things and like how to play? Because I feel like that could be a thing. Oh, look, he's got like a stein of beer. Dwarven ale, it's unblockable. It's got one use, it heals 2 HP. It removes poison and disease, but we get intoxicated, which lowers our attack, defense, and speed for three turns. But it certainly increases our morale. Alright, so our drunken dwarf is there. I don't know what we're doing, why there's a 90%, but we're gonna go break open this crate because of reasons, I, I suppose. I, I don't, I don't, has he got a gun? Looks like he has a gun, yes, he has a gun. Alright, well, it does not appear that we can shoot anything. I guess we maybe don't have line of sight? I, I don't, I don't know what's happening. Alright, so I guess we'll end our turn. Okay, pressing space toggles the UI. Helpful of icons cover units. Cool. Oh, okay. Neat, I guess. Yeah, we broke a box! I, I'm not sure why I, that should excite me in any way, but it might. I, I don't know. We done shot you, fool! Alright, so which one has a backpack icon? I don't see that. He's got like a little green bush or tree icon, and it's not really a backpack icon. Left foot, right foot. Left foot, right foot. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna end our turn. They're gonna close with us. Oh, they don't like our shooty pew pew guy. They're like, no. Oh no, he done bit us. We've been bitten. <laughs> Animated terrain effects in game battles are disabled by default as they might slow down rendering and make the UI unresponsive. To enable terrain effects, please open the configuration, then render tab, and check the stuff and blah 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 blah. Alright guys and gals, I decided just to do a cut. I'm gonna cut out all the options stuff. I was looking to see if there was like a better UI scaling to see if we can get stuff just to be a little bit bigger to read. I didn't find it, but I took a few minutes there to look through some of the options. Anyhow, yeah. So it looks like I also need to restart the game in order to do the thing that they wanted me to do. So yeah, that's yeah, not yeah. super great. But we murdered a rat. <laughs> Behold the might of dwarves. Run, small rat, before Gimli catches you. <laughs> He's running. How dare he I run? We done crushed, you fool. Oh, the rats seem to be a Oh, that one just like pooped himself to death, interestingly enough. Apparently he can just like escape and that's totally okay. You're within range. How is it I can't shoot you? I feel like I should be able to shoot you if you're within my range. I am... Hmm. Is he going to return or is he going to try to flee? Upgrade your heroes early in the campaign for better loot. Most treasure is randomly generated at the start of the campaign. Loot might vary between playthroughs. Cool. I like that. Alright, so we can shoot him now. Also, there's a chest down there that I'm vaguely curious about. I... Yeah, I'm not... I'm not positive if there's actually... Like, can we do stuff beyond the battle or not? Yeah, he, he's freaked out. He, he's not digging life right now. I'm drunk. He's dead. He, he just missed a 90% attack because of course he did. Because so of course he did. Up, do ya? Well, I'd like to shoot him, but it doesn't look like I can do that. What does it say? Fire gun. 
Can I move and then fire them? Does that work? I, I don't think it does because it wasn't allowing me to do it with mouse clicks before. All right. So we'll see if he continues to retreat. Chances are I'll probably run off the edge of the screen now. Oh. Very fine. Yeah. Don't end the map. Oh, good. You don't have to leave the battle right away. Nice. All right. Before leaving the battle, fallen units can be revived and carry over to the next scenario if you have the right skills or spells. Some areas have hidden secrets waiting for you to find them. Do I want to leave the battle? I do not. Let's dance, laddie. You are the dwarf. She has all my axe, laddie. I'm small but heavy. Okay. Ooh, money. And a gold bar. Or something. I don't I don't know what's Let's happening. Dance, laddie. Yeah, we killed stuff because we're superheroes and things. Why are you what what's what's happening here? Oh, I have to end my turn, is that what's going on? Oh, I've got to end the turn. I'm small but heavy. He's small but heavy. I, I don't know if that's that's really necessarily like a good thing or not. Well, I shoot you. Well, it does not appear that there's anything extra good or amazing in this area. So we're going to move on. I guess. I don't know how we move on. Do we end battle? Okay. Yeah, let's leave the battle. All right. It does minimize the game, like the game disappears and it reloads and comes back, so you're going to see some weird black screens and stuff here and there, so hopefully it's all good, we'll see. Deeper and deeper we trawled, eventually the tunnels split into three, all them tunnels smelled putrid. But that weren't the thing that made us actually think where to go. There were a bit of weird buzzing noise coming from one of the tunnels, it sounded a bit like a big like them big mechanized things they used in Forge and the Mills. But faster, another path was oozing with goo, which went even up all the walls, making the tunnel seem like it was glowing. And the last, well, there was the strong smell of rotten meat mixed mixed in with the smell of the sewer. The grand selection of paths, wouldn't you say, kids? Which one of them paths do you think we took? Well, we have a hiccup from Gimli. Nasty beast. How do rats even get this big? Alright, we're just gonna read normal styles. Stinky business. Ah, oh, God, that smell. Where next? Okay, so we got a choice. The rotten meat, the trail of goo, or the buzzing sound. I think we're gonna go for the buzzing sound. Hi, right, kids. We went toward the weird noise. The noise got louder and louder. We'd been walking for a long while and didn't really want to turn around. Then when we got some way down the tunnel, the buzzing noise got real loud. We started hearing screaming, too. That were it for us. We didn't know what the noise was, and we didn't want to find out. We made an about turn and went back the way we came. By the time we got back to the intersection, the rotten smell from one of the tunnels, other tunnels, had gone. So we went that way instead. Well, that's awkward. The stench down in the sewer was starting to get real bad. If it hasn't already been really awful, I assume. And I don't just mean the smell of poo. What a sewer is meant to smell like is mild compared to the stench that we were getting down there. Giant rats and slime wouldn't have been enough. Uh, there'd have to have been some serious quantity of dead things to put out a stench like that. So by this point, we knew there was something seriously going wrong down there. Where would so many dead people come from? Ain't like we have much bloodshed in this ear city, save for the fighting pits. But there we meet our story's hero. Since when do we have to say... Or since when do we have undead in our sewers? Uh, hey, uh, brother? Stand aside, foul beast. Don't you talk about me, mother, like that? <laughs> Fresh breeze. The dead come. Arm yourselves. Sweet. We get the hero of the story to join our cause. And what a cause will it be? I don't, I don't know. It's going to probably be a good cause. I'm not entirely certain. Either way, I did want to let you guys know that they did a fantastic job with the, uh, the trailers to the game. There's one that shows some of the gameplay and other stuff along the line, a little bit of the storyline. And then they did a live-action trailer that was actually fantastic. I think they did a really good job with it. So, 
definitely check those out. You can check them out on the Steam store page. They're there. I'm sure there are other places as well. But just figured I'd mention that because I think they did a fantastic job with it. And they deserve to have, you know, credit given where credit is due. Incoming. Incoming, yes. Alright, I'm going to go punch this thing as well. I'm not sure what those things are. Let's go hit them and see if they explode. They did not explode. Or will they? Oh, but there's money there that we apparently just inherited. Alright, so everybody's moved. I do like the running tally of what's going on. That's pretty... That makes me pretty happy. Oh, he's got something on him. I don't believe any of our folks have steel. Oh, here we go. We can press 1, 2, 3 to quickly change the display scale of the battlefield. Oh, okay. M to toggle unit status, N to toggle names, and T to toggle accessible areas on the map. Let's check out T first. Okay. One. Oh, tiny map. Two. That's about the normal map. And three. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like that. That looks so much better. Oh, that's cool. Uh, how do we move the map? Uh, I don't know. It's fine. All right, let's shoot this guy. I shoot you. Oh, death to the living! Wait, what? They are already dead, Gimli. Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, um, where do I click? There we go. Can I shoot him again? No. He's like, I'd let you, but nah. Nah. One damage can be used after move. What else we got? Defensive stance. It's auto-activated at the end of... Okay, that's cool. Alright, so we're going to move up. It'll be auto-activated. Get into this. What do we get? We got more monies. Them cash monies, yo. And then what do you have? You have the power strike. It's unblockable, but it has to be within touching range. You are the dwarf. Yeah, I had the dwarf. Alright, so we've moved up. We've done what we can do. Let's end our turn. I sort of wish, and again, this is just for me, my own thought process and how I would like things. Doesn't mean that they need to do it or it should be done even. But what I'd like to see in, in games of this nature is to like have maybe at the top of the screen or on along the side or so. Oh, I guess it's down here. Maybe I just need to pay attention. Let's see if this is actually what I'm about to request. And they already have them. They do. Okay, they do. So yeah, I was gonna say somewhere on the screen, I wish they would have like it would either gray them out or something like that if there was still movement. And then you can click on them down here. So this is this is exactly what I was hoping for. So this is perfect. This is exactly what I was like I said what I was after. Oh sure. Oh, we done did a power strike, and it worked well. Alright, so we defeated that fool. We'll move on over here, and yeah, we'll chill here. Unfortunately, he doesn't get to move up yet. Alright, see? That's perfect. They, they already know the things that people, foolish people like myself, are going to be asking. So that's cool. I like that. Alright, he's going to have to hopefully survive. It looks like there's two ranged people, possibly. Dude's got a bow, got a bow, got gold, gold. This guy's got a tree, I, I'm guessing. I'm not sure what that is. I'm actually going to step forward here. Because I want to get within a better range. I'm a drunk. <gasps> I got gotcha. Alright, big attack. Th oh, oh, it's a poison. It's not a thing at all, huh? Well, that's a bit disappointing. So as we hit him, he's going to expel poison onto us. So if we if we right-click on him, he's a ghoul. Uh, the twisted, mutilated bodies of ghouls are the result of long-term exposure of their dead flesh to foul, dark magic. Ghouls will devour anything, living or dead, and are known disease carriers. Consume corpse, touching range, disease carrier. Okay, yeah, that's not great. And undead. Well, the good news is our drunk boy here can can un undo the problems there. Oh, unfortunately, we can't actually strike that guy with our other boy over here. Well, it's, you know, it is what it is. 
Let's see if I can fail like the starter easy missions here, because I think that would be super fun times. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a shot at him, hopefully taking him out. He can't spread the poison to us, so that's good. We're going to go ahead and we're going to chug a thing, get inebriated. We're already inebriated, so I don't see why that would be a problem. Let's go smash this dude in the face. Oh, we missed our 90% miss. And it looks like we can squeeze in here just a little bit. I I don't know how far our drunk guy can go in the next turn, but we're going to try to get him to get a bit closer to the ranged guys. I'm not sure what this dude's doing, though. He might be trapped. He might not be able to get through. Alright. Oh, let's stick to here. Oh, we missed again. There you go. Good shot. And another good shot. Very good. Anything else? And he's going to walk up as far as he can, but sadly that's only there. Seems odd. Alright, so they're going to start repositioning. I'm not sure why the blood spots are circles. Seems a tad odd to me, but that's alright. Okay, we're going to go down here, we're going to attack this guy. We're going to smack you. Oh, just flat out crush you. Alright, buddy. Well played, friend. Okay, we're good to go. Alright, he moved on to a blood spot, and I think he moved on to that one before. I don't know if that's, like, gonna be a thing that we're gonna need to deal with. I, I didn't move in a good spot there. Let's try to get... Maybe there? There we go. Okay, we took him out completely. Oh, sure. Waddle on over here, waddle on up here, and move as far forward as we can, and if that guy makes his move, we should be able to take him down. Our boys seem to be doing okay. I believe we can level up, they mentioned that. I don't know how we can do that yet. Um, uh, unit information. Okay. Defensive step. Oh, I put my... Okay, so that's a... That's a better representation instead of using the little quick buttons over here. This Okay, that's that's cool. That's a more specific way of doing things. It's interesting. Alright, we'll slap you that way. I think we got a clear shot on you here. Then we'll waddle on in and get a free hit here as well. And if we didn't accidentally use this guy... Oh, I could have undone it, too, I suppose. It's alright. We'll make it work. I sort of want to go with uh, just shooting the guy down. Alright, so we got some free monies. Uh, we don't want to leave the battle yet. We want to come down here and bash open a box. And a crate. And miss because we're terrible at life. Alright. Incoming. Is there like a, a is there a some sort of solution like we can we can loot it? It's a passive construct, and we should get a hundred gold for it. I'm, small but heavy. I'm sure we're getting the gold, but it doesn't look like there's any indication as to where we're getting the gold. Now, is that like a weapon that we can pick up? I feel like it should be, or it might be, but maybe not. All right, so it was T. We'll go with one, two, and three. Okay, and then it was M and N. Okay, so it does show us a few different things that we can deal with. All Come on, Doran. So we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna shoot some stuff down here. On the way. Or apparently melee it because okay, why not? Okay, okay. Little higher. I feel like you could shoot stuff, but we'd much rather you just melee it. All right, it seems like that's pretty much it. I do like that we can have like the nameplates and everything on there. I think that's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, 
Yeah, that's good. And we get to see the like the health bars and stuff. If you wanted to declutter, you could do that as well. All right, cool. I, I'm very, I'm very much liking this so far. This is actually quite cool. Yes, we will end the scenario. The battle has been won. Let's see if it brings us to a point where we can actually do like a level up thing. I don't know if that's going to be a thing that we can do or not. Naturally, this Gilrock fellow was adamant about proving to us that such an evil really did exist in our sewers. It's not unheard of for the dead to rise on their own. So we thought he was just being a crazy washed up lord hoping for one more moment of glory. This Gilrock fellow, he had himself some really nice armor. A pretty old armor it was, though a bit worn and tattered. Okay, But it was finely made and would have looked almost majestic back in its day. Must have cost him a pretty penny. I tell ye, lads, this Gilrock fellow was looking like a dwarf lord should look. Strong, healthy, and ready for a good battle. It's a shame that he also looked a wee bit mad, and uh, not the good kind. The dead came toward us, and he was pulling barrels out of the sludge in front of us and hurling them at the undead. He missed, repeatedly. It was then that we realized he wasn't trying to hit the buggers. Uh, where have all the all these dead come from? Well, I had an army. An army? Then why are you here in the sewers? To put an end to the evil deeds of this vile necromancer. Huh. Interesting. Well, I was hoping to see like a way to level up, but it doesn't look like we can yet. Maybe it won't actually happen until we get out of the starting location in earnest. So I might make this first look a little bit longer. I'm going to attempt. Again, I say attempt. I'm going to attempt to get through this one, and if I do, and I do it successfully, we'll break it off there, and yeah. In a couple of days, guys and gals, when the game releases on the 1st of September, look for a full Let's Play of this, because I like it. I do. I like it a lot. I'm sold. I want to get the entire series. I definitely want to play it. So, there you have it, folks. Who? Who's there? A righteous band of lads hell-bent on the purging of evil. Shoot for the barrels. Eyeballs. All right, so we need to shoot for the barrels. All right, explosive gunpowder. Sorry, gunpowder. He's missing a D there. Gunpowder, uh, gunpowder barrels blow up when lit on fire or shot with guns. Their violent detonation is an effective way of dispatching large groups of squishy creatures, whether living or undead. So don't kill yourselves. As I guess the the goal here. Oh, I like my rifle. Boom. Hey, it even said boom! Perfect! Whoosh! Ha ha ha! Boom boom boom! That was awesome, Gilrock! Now I those gunpowder... Hey, you got it right this time. Barrels pack a punch. Alright, cool. So we done blew... Oh! Double blow up. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about! Can we pick them up? I don't think so. Oh, sure! Alright, so I'm gonna attempt... What you got for me? to hold the line here. I, I'm assuming that we can interact. No, we can't. What you looking at? Alright, so we're gonna chill here. Is that the necromancer there? So we should probably find a way to get to him. I'm gonna attempt to shoot this barrel here. It's gonna do a bit of damage. That one might be better. That one is better. I think he's outside the blast radius. Oh, here we go. Some more shortcut keys. F1 is to display the shortcut keys. F2 is help. Zoom. We know about the zoom. Uh, next unit, we can toggle or um, go to with the tab button. Arrow keys or map dr or mouse dragging is how we navigate the battlefield. F is the smart camera. Cool. We can view a tutorial. Action. Oh, that's really cool. I like all those things. All right. So let's get into close up and personal mode. I think I'm going to maybe step away a little bit here. Oh, we're outside the range of that one. Boo. Alright, let's take this one. It blew up. And it blew up that one. And it's going to blow up that one. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. And it blew up that one. Perfect. Okay. Well, I think we should start moseying on toward the baddies now. Yeah, yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. Hmm, it's quite nice. Ooh, we resisted whatever horrible magical spell he just tried to cast on us. 
I very much know for a fact that I'm going to be moving our archer individual, or sorry, our ranged unit, as it were, over to this spot. And I'm going to very, very seriously hope that he's going to be okay. I'm going to try to hit this guy from right here. We should be outside the blast radius of both of those things. Our boy on the side can handle this guy, and then... I... I... Yes, I'll like chill me, here with our drunk boy. Yeah, this is, this is pretty cool. Ooh, we just got punched in the back. I am not a fan of getting punched in the back. Okay, can we still shoot? We can't for some reason. Hmm. I'm small but heavy. <laughs> All right, gonna smack you. I'm gonna try to roll up here and hit you. I'm assuming we just don't have line of sight. Shoot the boss. All right, so we took that guy down. I guess that's fine. What you looking at? Gonna hop in front, and we're just gonna try to hold the line. We'll move the guys out of the way in the next bit here, trying to keep him safe, we're resisting. Oh. Our, our superhero is getting super destroyed right now. Alright, your hero has been wounded. Gilrock is your avatar in the game. The battle is immediately lost if he's killed. It is advised to always protect your hero. Hero Shmiro. Nobody cares about him. I feel like... Hmm. I feel like stuff is still being blocked right now. You had the door. Ready. Okay, so down he goes. I'm small but heavy. And we're gonna have to smack him. And hopefully our boy survives it. I, I was mocking, but I, I really don't want him to die. Oh gosh, laser beams. Oh that was that was that was decidedly unpleasant. Anything else? Let's dance. <laughs> Oh, you have a shot now. Oh, like Alright, buddy, let's see what you got here. Oop. I hit the S key, which was monitoring something or another. Ah, the necromancer done got wrecked. Hey, hey, you dropped something. Oh, it's your head! Master, what happened, Master? Master, your brain fell out. <laughs> yes. Mm, master, Master's brain tasty! Nothing like a fresh brain, huh? That's disgusting. Oi, zombie, don't forget the rest of them. That was pretty glorious, I'm not gonna lie. I really enjoyed that a lot. What I'm not particularly enjoying is... Uh, that guy's still alive. That makes me a bit concerned. If he doesn't get eaten, bit, or chewed on... Uh-oh. I'll also be fairly happy. I can hit that, and I will. And then I done blew up a whole bunch of stuff. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna blow up this guy's head. The giant weapon of doom. And then we're gonna go slap this guy upside his ugly face. And he's down too. And victory is ours! But we're not done yet. Why? Because there's still other things to do. So we'll end our turn. We'll water. Water? We'll waddle our big guy down here. Come and try it. I'm trying to move the- oh, that that's the bottom. I'm like, I'm trying to move the camera, but it's not working. I don't understand why it's not working. Okay, so we got some more money. Is there anything in the barrels themselves? Oh, there's an item in there. Huh, that's interesting. That, that's actually very interesting. Is there an item in that one? There's not. I wonder if uh, we blew it up, if there'd be a problem. A silver bar in that one. Nothing in that one. Roots Brew, a potion, okay. Well, that's good. I'm glad they have actually uh, included stuff like that. Oh, I like my rifle. Alright, so we're gonna go over here, we're gonna shoot this. And by shoot it, I mean punch it a whole bunch of times. 
got a potion. And then I guess we're gonna go and we're gonna hit this one. Hopefully we don't do any like AoE damage and just get ourselves in severe trouble. Did not that one have something in it? I could have sworn one of those had something in it. All right, well we're gonna waddle over here. Oh. Oh, is it like that? All right, well Aaron's gonna come over and get stuff handled, so it's gonna be fine. There we go. We got the pearl, and this one's the one that must have the silver bar. There we go. Okay, I think we got everything that we needed to get, and yeah, we're looking pretty good. And there was nothing in this one, right? No. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end the turn. Sorry, I'm not going to end the turn, I'm going to end the battle. And that's going to pretty much do it for this first look video. We'll see what's going on here. The necromancer crumpled to the floor under a barrage of gunshots and blows to the face. Gilrock stepped closer and took his head off in one clean swing. Just to be safe, he kept muttering to himself. After that, we felt we'd served out punishment. Okay. And we were feeling pretty safe leaving the sewers with Gilrock. We killed a bunch of nasties and even helped get rid of a necromancer. We were feeling pretty good about ourselves. It was a great relief when we got back up to the main level. The guards by the sewer gate took one look at Gilrock and let us without and let us without question. Let us out? I, I don't whatever. I tell you, lads, fresh mountain air never tasted so good. It was like fresh pine, almost as though we stood at the city gates. Yeah, time well spent and a reward well deserved, I think. Once we got out, Gilrock was suspiciously friendly, I can tell you that. We finally got a good look at his face. He was older than we first thought. Just past his prime, certainly not old, but not young either. There was tarnished silver braided into his beard, and our first good look into his eyes told us exactly what we suspected. He'd seen things. Things nobody wanted to see. This guy looked like a lord. The guards even seemed to know his name, and they called him my lord and Lord Gilrock. Dying with your brothers is a humbling experience, lads. He kept thanking us, asking us how he could return the favor for helping him. Eventually it occurred to him to ask why we were in the sewers to begin with. So we sheepishly told him what your Uncle Gimli had done. Fine work, lads. Why are such skilled lot as you trawling the sewers? Uh, old Gimli here had a wee uh, barmy with a snooty merchant upstairs. Merchy upstairs. <laughs> uh, did you deserve to be sent down here? Not by my reckoning. Then I'll make it up to you, lad. Shall we uh, pay this here merchant a visit? Eh, night's still young. Alright, so my guess, and I could be totally wrong here, I'm assuming that, like, moving on from this spot, we are no longer in the tutorialized area. And this is where the game starts in, like, it properly starts. So yes, this is optional. This is where it actually begins. If you guys want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, or any of the wonderful fun stuff I always include, it'll be down below in the description of the video and various links. If you guys enjoy this video, go ahead and leave a like, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. You can follow me on Twitter at Bumpy McSquiggums. And, yeah, look forward to the full release of the game. Grab it for yourselves. Grab uh, Age of Fear 1 and Age of Fear 2 Gold if you want. If you like this style of game and gameplay, definitely go ahead and grab that. And, yeah, I'll be starting up the full Let's Play come September 1st. Until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later.